Hello KG, it's that time of the day again, problems of the day time. Remember, for problems of the day, you need a piece of paper so that you can write your answers to send to your teacher. Remember, you can pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answers. And remember, the most important thing is, is that we, 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 that we want your answers. Let's look at the first problem. 5 plus what equals 10? Can you count the cupcakes underneath the number 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, we already have 5 cupcakes, so how many more do we need to add to get to 10? Remember, you can pause the video and you can use lots of different ways to work out what your answer is. Did you get the number 5? Remember to write it down for your teacher. 10 minus 3. What does 10 minus 3 equal? Remember minus means to take away. That's why it's got the crosses through it. That means we don't need them anymore. So 10 take away 3. Can you draw 10 cupcakes on your piece of paper and then cross out 3 of them? Once you've done that, count them again and see how many you have left. And then you'll have your answer. 10 minus 3 equals 7. What number has two tens and three ones? Remember a 10? Over here we can look and see there's two tens. That means that it's two groups of 10. So you can count them and see how many there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 10 more. And over the other side, how many ones are there? 1, 2, 3. Count together all of those 10s and those 3 ones and see if you can figure out what the answer is. Remember, write your answer down for your teacher. Did you get 23? What shape is this? Now, we just did 3D shapes and some of them were very hard. Can you remember what the name of this one was? Can you draw the shape for your teacher and try to write down the name? Rectangular prism. Which ruler is longer? Have a look at the rulers and see if you can figure out which one is longer. When you've got your answer, write it on your sheet of paper. Did you get the one that says the numbers from 0 to 4? Well done for working out the answers yourself. Now take a photo of the answers and send them to your teacher. We need your work so we know how to help you. Well done, KG.